Hey you guys, it's Peter, and I'm back. Of course I'm back, I'm not going anywhere. Boost! And I am reporting live from the Dominican Republic. And the bee sting is not going to keep me down. My eye is actually getting better. I wanna thank all of you fine citizens out there that left me really nice comments saying, I hope your eye gets better soon. So if you don't know, I got stung on the nose by a bee and my eye was swollen. And yesterday was also my husband Alex's birthday. So thank you all for wishing him a happy birthday. It made his day. Um, I actually talked about it in my vlog last night, his response to it, because he was super excited about it. All right, let's get into this video. And this video today is about the video that Trisha Paytas put out yesterday talking about her and Jason Nash breaking up, okay? I have some notes in my phone. I have watched the video now twice and I sat on the beach today and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take some notes because I wanna make sure that I say this how I really wanna say it. So if you watch my videos regularly, okay, you know that this is not gonna be me dissecting Trisha and Jason's relationship or their breakup. I just won't do that on my channel, okay? I won't speculate about what led to it. I won't talk about anything that's going on with it. I'm not gonna say anything bad about Trisha. I'm not gonna say anything bad about Jason. So if that's what you're here for, you're not gonna get that in this video, okay? I, you know, being in a relationship and also being somebody that makes YouTube videos, it's like, I cannot even imagine what it would be like to have a breakup online, what that would be like and all this kind of stuff, you know? And I know a lot of people are speculating, well, was this relationship ever really real? Was it not real? But either way, it doesn't really matter because they spent so much time together. I think anybody that has been a longtime fan of Trisha's or has watched her for a really long, long time knows what she's like in relationships. I think we saw a different side of Trisha in this relationship. We saw a more vulnerable side. We saw a more trusting side. I think that alone should be evidence to anybody about how real this relationship was. Um, you can't fake that kind of stuff on camera. You just can't, you know? And um, I think a lot of people that try to fake that stuff on camera, camera, it comes across as extremely, you know, disingenuous and insinc insincere. So that's not what this video is gonna be about. I'm not gonna be talking about any of that kind of crap. I'm gonna be talking about some of the points that she brought in the video that I think are actually extremely important because they're not just issues that relate to relationships, they're issues that relate to all of us. And one of the things that I say on my videos on a pretty regular basis is that I like YouTubers, I'm attracted to YouTubers that are relatable to me. And she said some things in this video that were, I don't know, they just, I don't even think she realized how poignant it was when she was saying it, but it just was so powerful. And the first thing I wanna talk about is where she called herself, she said, if I'm the fat joke, if that's what I am, then I'm gonna go change that. And you know, it was really, really hard for me to hear her say that, especially as somebody that loves Trisha and has, you know, I would like to call myself a friend from afar. I mean, we have talked a couple times on the phone. She's been extremely supportive of me through the years. Um, I adore Trisha, and she isn't any different on the phone for hours at a time than she is on camera. She really isn't. And I think a lot of times people want to like pick apart this Trisha and who is she, you know? And I think one thing you have to realize is she's been on camera for a very, very long time. Like she's lived her life on camera. At some point, it's kind of hard to fake that stuff. Do you know what I mean? Like you just are who you are on camera after a while. Um, and you know what I do, <laughs> my job on YouTube, if you want to call it a job, what I like to do on YouTube is go and watch these people and give commentary and say, do I think they're being sincere? Do I not think they are? And you know, Trisha's very much the same on camera as she is off the camera. So that being said, it really hurt me. It like was hard for me to hear her say that, you know, people perceive her as being the fat joke. I think that was hard for me to hear her say because I've had people say that about me through the years as well. And you know, this whole video was all centered around this idea that, you know, tr this whole idea of weight in regards to Trisha and Trisha being overweight, is she, is she not, these kinds of things, comments that Jason had made, you know, about her weight, how hurtful that was and things like that. And you know, it got me thinking about my own weight. And if you watch my vlogs and you watch my Peterisms videos, and what you'll know, those are my two other channels, what you'll know is that I talk about my weight on there on a regular basis. 
But as I was sitting on the beach today, okay, a place that is very difficult for me, especially sitting next to my husband who is in fantastic shape, you know, and I'm just gutted and I'm whatever. There was a day that I would never sit on the beach in a bathing suit because I was so embarrassed of who I was. I'm heavier now than I was at that time, but I'm not willing to miss out on life as a result of my weight, okay? Because I do know there are things that I can do to get my weight down, and I'm gonna talk about that in just a second. But in reality, when I look at myself at 150 pounds, which is the, the thinnest I can remember myself in the last 20 years, okay? Or today, at where I'm at, you know, which is well over 200 pounds, my ha level of happiness didn't really ever change. So when she was in her video and she was talking about, I'm gonna go lose 50 pounds and then come back to YouTube, I was thinking to myself, that's fine, but we're not fixing what's going on with inside of us, right? We're not fixing those parts of ourselves inside of us that today, because I have done so much work on myself, you know, and those feelings of insecurity and, you know, feeling vulnerable to the world, that I'm able to sit on a beach and with no shirt on it be completely fine. And one of the things that made me so happy about Trisha in this relationship were the pictures that she was posting from Bora Bora because you could see how happy she was. And it wasn't like she was like, you know, we see all these Instagram pictures of people and they're very concerned with how they look and hiding the, the blind spots. You know what I'm talking about. We've all done it. We've all done that, right? And she just wasn't. She just was letting it all hang out. And to be with somebody that you feel that safe and comfortable with is a really awesome feeling, you know? And I feel so blessed to have the husband that I have today because I've been in previous relationships where people have said things to me about my weight. And even when I was really, really thin, I can remember I dated this guy one time and we were, walk we were on an escalator and he and a friend were behind me and he looked at me and he goes, and at this point I was probably about 160 pounds and working out three days a week. And he goes, you are so bottom heavy. Okay, today in my head, when people comment and make comments about my ass, I still hear that. I still hear, you are so bottom heavy, okay? That was 23 and a half years ago. That was the person that I dated before I got sober. So almost 24 years later, I still hear that. And when she talked in her video about these things that had happened to her when she was in you know, junior high that still had effect on her today, you know, I think that those are things that we forget sometimes, that those are things that we carry with us into all of these relationships. And we want to call those baggage. We want to call it this. We want to call it that. Call it whatever you want, okay? Those are insecurities that we carry with us from relationship to relationship, from job to job, from friendship to friendship, whatever. It's really difficult, you know, to sit down with the new person you're dating or the new job that you're in or your new friend and go, okay, let me give you a point by point, you know, <laughs> a study of all of the things I've been through in my life. And then that lets us know that maybe we should just lead in this world by being more kind, more caring, and more compassionate, you know? But I've gotten to a point in my life where I've realized one thing about my weight. I'm probably never going to be a size 30 again. I'm just not in jeans, you know? I'm never gonna have that physique that I just look at and I'm like, that is the physique that I, I'm completely happy with it. Since I was 16 or 15 years old, I have been working on my weight and I've had an issue with my weight. Other people have had issues with me on my weight, but I'm not at a point today where I'm willing to continue to fight that fight. Health is very, very important today. And you know, my issues of wanting to get into shape and eating healthier and things like that, which is a constant battle for me, and if you watch my vlogs, you know that, okay? It's a constant battle for me, but my dream of getting into shape or eating healthier is because I wanna live a good life. Not because I give a rat's ass what anybody out there has to say, because listen, those people that are going to say things about me being heavy are the same people that when I'm thin, they're going to say something about something else. So I can't change it. I can't change the negativity. I can't change the hatred. There's nothing I can do about it, okay? And those that matter don't mind, and those that mind don't matter. And I have to remember that, you know? And I have to remember my goal in this world is to stay authentic and to stay true to myself and live the best life possible. Um... You know, I think that there were other point, there were other moments in the video that I thought were really, really important. And when she was talking about some of the comments that Jason said to her, 
I am very blessed to be in a relationship where my husband doesn't say those things. He has come real close before though, okay? And I give him the side eye. I'm like, look, you know? But I've also talked about this on my Peterisms channel, and I've talked about this on my vlog as well, that um, my Peterisms channel is my story time channel, that we've been in marriage counseling for a year and a half now. And it is taken our marriage from like a five to like a ten and a half. I mean, I can't even tell you how much I believe in relationship or marriage counseling as a result of it. And one of the most important things that it has done for us is that it has made us realize what are our hot button topics with each other, as well as how to communicate to one another in a relationship, okay? You know, just because somebody thinks it's okay to say certain things like, well, we're both fat, does not make that okay to the other person. But we have to be able to talk to one another and make them aware of what our issues are. And today, my husband does not talk that way. He just doesn't. And a friend of mine said something to me a long time ago, and I think that this is very, very important, okay? And I'm thinking about making a video on my Peterism's channel today about when do you know it's time? Like, when do you know it's time to leave a relationship? And I was in a relationship that wasn't real healthy, and the person that I was with talked down to me a lot. And I was talking to a good friend of mine, and she said to me, if that was my boyfriend, you know what I would say to him? You must not think very highly of me to think that it is okay to talk to me that way. Today, my husband doesn't say things like that to me. He never has in our relationship. The things he says to me today is, what can I do to help you achieve your goals? What can I do to be more supportive of you? What can I do, you know, to get you where you want? Because I'm the one in the relationship that a lot of times will get frustrated and be like, oh, this shirt makes me look fat. I don't look good, blah, blah, blah. I'm the first one to bring it there, right? So if I'm gonna bring it and I'm gonna open that conversation, I can't expect him just not to have any words whatsoever. So what he has learned that in that moment, what I wanna hear is, how can I be supportive of you? And sometimes I just go, I, you know, I just need to vent. I just need to vent. But that's where communication is important in relationships. Um, the other thing that I wanna say that she brought up in here was, um, you know, that she talked a lot about her insecurities and this being her biggest insecurity. Anybody that loves Trisha knows that she talks a lot about her insecurities, and I think that's what is so relatable to her in her videos. And we talk a lot about insecurities in this world in general, and we all have them, okay? What I like to call it is a lack of self-concept, and what that means is when you see somebody walking down the street, and they're super confident, and they feel really good about themselves, they have something that you don't have that you want, okay? And that is self-concept. But how do we get there? Because that's a really difficult thing. It is even more difficult, and if you watch her video, this was so profound, when you start allowing your insecurities to be blockage to your life, which means you aren't being able to be in certain relationships. And I'm not saying that I think this is the healthiest relationship and that she should have stayed in it, okay? I'm telling you right now, I'd have been in a relationship where somebody looked at me and said, well, we're both a bunch of fatties, and I'd say, you need to take your fatty ass and move on off of here because I'm not having that, okay? You're not talking to this one that way, right? But we get in relationships, and we, you know, start thinking about those things, and maybe that's something very, very small in regards to what we are getting from the relationship. I think a lot of us are willing to excuse a lot for not being alone. If you've ever been in a relationship where you're not happy, sometimes you'll accept a lot because you don't want to be alone. And being in a relationship that doesn't necessarily make you happy is better than being, in a, and being all alone in the world when you see all your friends in relationships and you always think they're happy. Well, they're getting called names sometimes too, but that doesn't make it right. Or a lot of them are in healthy relationships, you know? There are healthy relationships out there. I had to realize that I was good enough, that I was worthy enough to get out of the relationships I had been in in the past and get into a relationship where the person spoke to me with respect, kindness, and compassion because that is what I deserve today. And I think that Trisha deserves the same thing. But we can't allow our insecurities to stop us from having the best life possible. We can't allow our insecurities and those things that we feel horrible about in ourselves stop us from experiencing the best life that we could possibly have. I wish her all the best in the entire world. There's a lot I don't understand about this situation. And it's really not my business to understand it. That's Trisha's life and that's Trisha's world. She said in her video that she'll be okay, and I know that she will. She is, you know, survived through much, much worse, and she will come out on top of this. I hope she remains teachable. I hope she learns from this situation. I hope we all learn from situations like this in our lives. 
Years ago, I saw the movie Blackfish about, you know, SeaWorld. And uh, have your opinions about the documentary, but I want to say something that I found was really, really interesting about that documentary. Was when they talked in there about how you put different whales in this tank, okay, from different parts of the world, and they don't necessarily speak the same kind of language. So they don't know how to communicate to one another. When we get in relationships with each other and we come from certain backgrounds, you know, one of us maybe speaks out of total sarcasm and the other one speaks this way and the other one speaks that way. It's really, really hard. Sometimes it takes a long time to understand the communication patterns of two people in a relationship. That's a lot of times why counseling is really important. That's why being kind to each other and saying, did I hurt your feelings? That's not what I want to do. I love you. I don't want to hurt your feelings, you know, but one thing that I have learned that I do not tolerate in relationships today whatsoever in friendships and work relationships in my romantic relationships I don't care with anybody I don't tolerate this if I feel safe enough to trust you to tell you things in private and Trisha talked about this in this relationship and this to me was the most profound moment if I share things with you privately that I feel like I can trust you and this is a safe place for me and this is a safe relationship and you know that knowing the insecurities I have to then turn around later and throw that in my face is not okay. And I don't care for how people treat people like that. I think it's cruel. I think it's insensitive and I don't like it. I think there's a lot of things behind the scenes we'll probably never understand with this relationship and I don't really think it's our place to understand that. But I think that with any of these YouTubers on YouTube, myself included, because I put my marriage out there, that there are always things that we can learn and apply to our own lives. I wish Trisha the best. I wish Jason the best. Um, I hope Trisha, my dream for Trisha is that she finds true love and she finds somebody that gives her the safe place that she deserves and that she needs. I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.